So in this video, I will continue from the previous video to finish up the Fusion Portfolio Frontier. And I will add a borrowing and lending line to the Efficient Portfolio Frontier. So uh, before we actually move on to the uh, BL line, uh, let me add a label to uh, the base assets. So this is the Netflix asset. And to add a label here, right? I will go to the add chart element. And when you click it, you can see the data labels here. And uh, click more data label options at the bottom. Then I will show the series name because the series name is the Netflix. And I will unclick Y value or X value so that I can just see the name of the asset. Okay. Then we can see that this is the Netflix asset. And I'll do the same here. As chart element, data label, more data label options, series name. Okay, and I'll do the same. And the next one, the last one is S&P 500. So data label, series name. Okay. So now we can see all four base assets and their relationship with the efficient portfolio frontier. Now, um, into this chart, I will add a BL line. And to create a BL line, the first thing that we have to do is uh, go to the solver function and define a, the highest possible sharp ratio. So we will change the weight uh, in such a way that we get the highest possible sharp ratio. And we will use that, uh, the maximum sharp ratio as a slope of the BL line. So I will click solve our function here. And I will ask Excel to maximize the sharp ratio. But I will go here and eliminate this condition, right? So now we will find the weight of each asset that can maximize the sharp ratio uh, without additional uh, constraint. Okay. Then this is the optimal share of each asset and the optimal share of S&P 500 in the portfolio is zero. Uh, and when we do that, the sharp ratio is 0.142 and this is the maximum possible sharp ratio. So this becomes the slope of our BL line. Okay. Then all that we have to do is to create uh, dummy values of the risk. Um, so in this case, actually standard deviation. Okay. Um, and because the graph has the ratio of the risk values from zero to 6% and uh, increase it by 0.8%. Uh, and this will become the XX value for the BL line. So we start from 0% and increase it by 0.8%. So this plus 0.8%, right? Then um, I will just uh, drag it over. So uh, our BL line will cover the uh, risk value from zero to about 5.6%, uh, which is you know good enough for our purpose. So given the level of death risk that you are taking, then BL line will tell you the maximum rate of return that you can enjoy by taking that risk, right? So for example, obviously, if you are taking zero risk, then the maximum value that maximum return that you can enjoy is the risk free rate. So 
the PL line value, the maximum rate of return is the risk-free rate, and I will fix the cell, plus the sharp ratio, the maximum possible sharp ratio, times the level of risk that you are taking. Right? So obviously when you take zero risk, the maximum return that you can enjoy is a 0.5%. Right? Then as you take more and more risk, the maximum return that you can enjoy will increase. Right? So in this case, I you know, already set this up. In, so you can actually see uh, how the BL line looks. But just to help you how to create the line, help you understand how to create the line, I will just go here, double click the table, then select the data, right? And I will take this line out, right? And I will add the PL line. And series X value is the dummy values of the risk that we made for the X values, X axis value of the BL line. And Y value is the rate of return that you can enjoy um, given the level of risk that you are taking. Right. So that becomes the BL line. And when I press OK, you can see the BL line. Okay. So so what it, what this means is that when you uh, spend when you put forty two percent of your money in Netflix, seventeen percent in Intel, uh, forty one percent in Walmart, you can achieve the market portfolio that can uh, produce the highest level of sharp ratio. And given the sharp ratio, right, for any given level of risk that you are willing to take. You can easily calculate the maximum rate of return that you can achieve by diversifying your portfolio between these four assets and a risk-free asset. And that is captured by this BL line. Okay, hope you found this video useful.